Greetings! Today I've got yet another uh, power bank 18650 uh, charger, uh, charger discharger type device, and um, this one came from eBay uh, again. Um, so this was the listing uh, 99p. Um, I got this when I was looking for a replacement for the one I uh, killed accidentally uh, when. Uh, plugged in the battery wrong way around and uh, it comes in a selection of colors uh, I picked the white one because it was the cheapest uh, for some reason the different colored one were going for 12p or 13p more um, the item number is 272419792223 and it comes from a seller called Zing Zing Sheng1995 uh, yet again, it's advertised as a kit, but uh, really, uh, it's it, the only thing kits sl kit like thing about this whole contraption is the fact that the uh, battery came, uh, sorry, the battery cover uh, came separate to it, and there was no battery included. So um, here, uh, I've, uh, I was charging a battery with it, and uh, this is. Um, basically stops charging at 4.239 uh, volts so um, a little bit high uh, not as high as the other one was uh, charging at the pink one was charging up to 4.25 volts so a little bit lower uh, but still a bit too high let's see what sort of current we can get out of this if I quickly plug in my phone it will start charging that's a uh, reasonably uh, power hungry phone the battery is at 17% so it will charge with quite a high current and it's putting out um, just over an amp um, so that's that's not too bad 1.08 um, so 1 amp 80 milliamps uh, we can call that ballpark figure 1 point, uh, 1 1.1 amps so it's just dropped to 960 milliamps uh, the voltage dropped to 4.8 volt when doing this um, but it is putting out an amp, uh, which is a good thing. Let's see if I unplug it and plug it back in, what will happen? There you go, it goes up to 1.1 amp, but uh, I think as the battery voltage drops, it reduces the current slightly. Yeah, it does that funny thing when it uh, drops the current to about 300 milliamps and then goes back up to just under an amp. So yeah, it's it claims a one amp uh, output and uh, indeed it uh, it does have one and um, one amp output. The product description is quite interesting on this uh, on eBay. So um, you can see the picture of it. So it clearly does correspond to what you're getting, uh, what you're ordering. Um, but when you look at the product description it says uh, please note this is a DIY power bank case kit you are required to assemble them yourself and the battery is not included uh, powers, uh, mobile power sets of material includes power motherboard plus supply enclosure um, ok so one piece uh, battery not included brand new high quality fashion banana shape designed uh, now last time I checked bananas were slightly curved uh, I mean, maybe in China bananas grow straight, but uh, I think the conventional uh, banana shape is not straight. Um, support replacement of 18650 Li Li battery. Easy to use and secure. Uh, can also use batteries as battery charger for 18650 batteries. I, th I thought that's what it is. 5 volts, uh, not 0.8 amps, and output 5 volts, 1 amp. Um, Again, battery not included and whatnot, and um, the spec actually matches. So I, when I was observing this charging a uh, fully discharged battery, the uh, uh, the charging current for this at five volts was uh, maximum 0 0.96 uh, amps, so just under an amp. Um, but as its uh, battery increases voltage, it, it does drop, and uh, output we were getting uh, easily one amp out of it. So um, I guess it matches the spec. So what, Mike? What more do you want? Um, we've got a chip. Um, literally, there is 
very handful of components. We've got one coil, um, a little bit of flux residue, uh, one, two, three cups, one resistor, and the chip. And the chip is called, if I just get the angle right, FMS 833E. Excuse the shakiness, I'm freehanding this. Uh, and it's got PG6R. 051B uh, FMS 833 E. Yeah, so overall, uh, another really simple uh, but a handy uh, battery charger. Um, it's in in a couple of ways compared to the green one, the the one I busted uh, is better than this, uh, but it's also not as good as that one. So um, the main difference is this one is entirely made out of plastic. Um, so that's uh, a little bit of on the negative side because it's just cheap plastic and um, the cover is um, a little bit uh, a little bit tight to put on and uh, and to take it off so it actually requires quite a bit of pressure to click in and to take it off it's again really uh, really difficult but um, it's better for for the way that I use it because it's uh, I can have it with the cover completely off uh, off of the case and basically what I'll do I'll, I'll have this hanging on a USB cable on the side to my bench and uh, I've got a number of uh, 18650s that require uh, charging every once in a while so uh, as it's hanging I'll just uh, put in a discharge 18650 and when it's uh, when it goes solid red I know it's fully charged and I plug in another one and I've, this way I've always got a supply of uh, fully charged cells uh, to use in different products and yeah it's a really nice yet a, yet another one simple um, it's amazing how they've managed to make it so simple with those uh, dedicated charger and boost converter chips um, really simple and uh, yeah mass produced but that's the job that's all you I can say from it. Uh, all I can say about it. N not much else in there. So I um, hope you enjoyed this uh, quick, tiny video. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more random stuff uh, for the time being. Take care.